So I have a set of regular 944 brake rotors here from Seabro. Um, you know, they're relatively inexpensive. Anyhow, they're just smooth on, on both surfaces. And um, you can get fancy cross-drilled rotors or slotted rotors, but I do a little method that I do myself. So these are the vents on the side of the rotor. Rotors that are cross-drilled, the, the vent holes um, actually go around the holes that are drilled in them so that you know, if you just cross-drilled this rotor, you would have some holes going through the gap of the vent and then some holes going through the, the web of the vent, and uh, that would be structurally bad for the rotor. You know, a little slot or something would probably be good. So what I've done is I've made a, a template here of just where I want to make some little, some dimples. So kind of a combination of a slot and a hole. A dimple is only going to go down into the surface a little ways. I have mine go about one millimeter down. Um, and I have a tool here, an end mill, in my drill press that is called a ball end end mill. And the bottom of it is a, is a you know, half a sphere, a hemisphere. Um, this is a half inch uh, end mill, so, you know, the bottom of that would be a, like a little marble. You know, that would be half inch. So with my template here, I have little holes so I can use a sharpie and I can make little dots um, all the way around. And then once those sharpie dots are in place on my drill press here, I can go and I can make, make little spots. Um, I've got the stop on my drill press set so that they're all the same depth. I can show you I've already done the, the back side. So you can see the dimples that I've already put in on the back side. And I'm going to be doing the top side and then I'll be all done. I probably should have mentioned why you want little dimples or slots or cross drills or something. When you have a brake pad on your on your rotor, you know, the brake pad is made up of a of an abrasive material that's glued together. A special high temperature epoxy holds this friction material together. As the brake pad heats up, that that binder, that glue, that epoxy uh, will vaporize and burn off a little bit. And as it gets really hot, you can actually get a little layer of gas um, between the pad surface and the rotor surface. So imagine like a little cushion of air, like a like a air, you know, an air hockey game or something like that, which is preventing the the pads from squeezing on the rotors. Um, having some sort of passageway for the air, a slot, a cross drill, or something like that, allows that little film of air a place to go, so that it can move out of the way so that your pad's friction material can actually make contact with your rotor. So that's the reason a lot of, you know, race cars have cross-drilled or slotted or, you know, dimpled rotors, or there's some companies that do fancy patterns or things like that. They don't just do it because it looks sexy, they do it because it actually has a purpose.